everyone so today is Wednesday and I have decided to get my camera out today and film um if I'm being completely honest with you I don't know why I've been feeling like this but I feel or I have felt pressure to do vlogs and sorry I've got something in my eye um I don't know why I felt like that and it's sort of put me off doing it I think because I hit my goal of the year I hit 4,000 subscribers recently and it just sort of threw me a bit and I felt like I had to produce this really epic content when in reality people have subscribed to me because they like my content and my channel as it is. Filming today, um, we are going to go to the library, post some orders at the post office and that's all I've really got planned so I thought I'd bring you along with us. Hello! That is the plan, I have been pretty busy if I'm being honest with my orders. Um, so I've got to post some of those. I'm also waiting for a delivery today um, of my plastic clips so I can continue to make some more orders. Oh, my porridge has gone all like elastic-y. Why? Um, so yeah, I'm now doing breakfast. I can imagine P will probably want to eat half of my breakfast because that seems to be the thing now. She'll have her breakfast and then an hour later she'll start munching on mine, which is fun and games. So for breakfast I have got porridge, but it's gone all like this. I can't explain it, it's like it's claggy. So I've got that, I've got a tea, I'm gonna have a banana, and I do need to put some cinnamon on my porridge. We've just had a delivery for pea. What is in there? Would you like to open it? What's in there, Bubba? What's in there? <gasps> That's it. What have you got? <gasps> what have you got? Is that a post office? Oh dear. So basically at the weekend we went to a garage sale which literally blew my mind. I've never been to one before and there was a really big estate that was doing like a garage sale like they had a map and everything about people who was going to sell things. Um, and one of the first places we went to was selling Happy Land and some of it's in the attic because I have put it away for her birthday or Christmas, I haven't decided yet and yes I know it's bad giving P second hand toys for her birthday or Christmas but she's not going to know and I think this year is going to be the last year that we're able to get away with it. Um, but they're really good condition anyway. I literally lost my mind when I saw all of the Happy Land stuff that this lady had. I was like, I want that, I want that, I want that. Um, and um, I'll show you what I did keep down for her. We got loads of stuff from the garage sale. So we spent just under 40 pounds and oh, we got loads of stuff, so. So this is one of the sets and this is the doctor's surgery. So you open the door, you've got the little button and then you've got the little table under here so that was five pounds and that came with the little man the nurse and the wheelchair got this one as well got the ambulance um so we've given her that and then we also got the police station um a taxi and a huge like cottage that's gone up into the attic she also got um this for like two pounds this is a happy land telephone box you like that don't you that's one of her favorites so um i said to neil about how like there's loads of happy land stuff um but we looked on the elc website and they've updated them and i don't like the new ones at all so we went on ebay and we got that one and it was like 2.99 and 2.99 delivery so it's pretty cheap anyway so she's got that so i now need to text neil we also got her a slide um and this was 
nine pounds. We were gonna get her like a toddler slide, um, but then Neil was like, what's the point? Like, she's gonna outgrow it, so we may as well get her a big one. So I think this slide that we got, I think it retails at like 150 pounds. Neil Googled it, I can't remember. And obviously we only got it for nine quid. And Pete absolutely loves it. I love it. I probably got it more than Pete, but such a bargain. But that is what it looks like. It's so good, like nine pounds. I've also got a couple of books for the book advent. I won't show you them all now because I will be doing a video um, in December for that. But one of them we got was this Kipper book. Hardback, barely used, 25p. Like I would never sell something of peace for 25p. A pound at least. <laughs> I have an attachment to things. But yeah, we've got her that. Um, so we've got loads and loads of good deals. I wish I filmed. I was going to film. Um, but then I thought it's not really appropriate going up to people's houses and like looking at their belongings and shoving a camera in their face. So I didn't. Um, but we've got some good stuff, which I'm sure you'll see around Christmas time. Because that's when I'll get it all out again. My camera just died, so I've just got myself ready. I just redid my eyebrows because they're a bit of a mess. Got myself dressed. He's having a meltdown. Come on. Would you like to brush your teeth, Ease? Come on. Just come. Can I hold your hand, please? God, just pick up your slippers then. Is this what you want? You want your slippers? Go on then, pick them up. That's what she was having a meltdown about, was picking up her slippers. Literally. <laughs> Baby, we're going out, you can't wear your slippers. <laughs> so this is what it's like having a toddler. Having a meltdown because I told her she can't wear her slippers outside because we're going outside. Here she comes, look. I need to clean your mouth, it's all dirty. Got into the car and it's raining. Don't even know why I got my sunglasses on, just because I look like a state. Um, I don't even know what the time is, half past 10. Um, I don't know if I've said, but P has decided to drop her naps, which is why oh, I can't drive this car out of my drive. Um, P has decided to start dropping her morning naps now and naps in the afternoon instead, which is why I'm going out at this time. It's not even early. Oh my God, I cannot get this car out of my drive for the life of me. What an embarrassment. <sighs> Took me forever to get it in yesterday. Um, I'm also in Neil's car today. Just because, um... hang on, let me concentrate for a second. Neil's car today just because the car seat's in here and it makes life a lot easier. Really hope the library's not busy. I don't know um, if it's just me, but everywhere has been so busy lately because it's obviously six weeks holidays. I'm not used to like having all of these kids like being in the park and they're not like small kids either. They're like really big kids. I get intimidated by that sort of thing. I don't know why, I just do. Even though I'm a 24 year old mother, I get intimidated by children. They just look at you, and I don't know, it's just horrible. I'm such a child myself. It makes me feel really bad. It makes me feel like a really bad mum. <laughs> it's alright, Princess, we're almost there. We're not almost there. We've arrived. I had to take a little detour because the road was closed. Um, 
just went onto the website because there was loads of cars in the car park so I've had to come somewhere else um, <laughs> just went onto the website because they do like groups and stuff at my library it's actually a really good library they're always really busy but they've got bloody crochet club going on from 10 till 12 to be fair I should go to crochet club because I do do crochet um, so that's going to be fun it's going to be like loads of old people there doing their little crochet club um so i'm gonna get pee out the rain has stopped um thank god charity shop which I'll show you when I get home. I was going to go to the park but it's rammed and P is so tired. I thought walking across the field would be a good idea so I wanted to get her to walk but she's not having any of it. So um, I think it's maybe like 25 past 11 so get home watch a little bit of telly do some lunch and then she can have a nap. So Princess is now having her lunch. She has got peanut butter on toast with some red grapes, which I don't think she's gonna eat, chicken, and then some spinach breadsticks. Oh, and she's watching Show Me, Show Me. She loves this program. I just wanna show you the mess that I left the house in today. Um, I think a lot of people think my house is always immaculate, and it's not, so I've got all of this to tidy up. She's pulled up some of the tiles. What else have I got to tidy up? She decided to put on her backpack when she got home, so I need to tidy that away. Needs to tidy away from lunch. Got to wash up. Got to put a wash on. Got to put a bin liner in. Put the big push chair in the car as well as that. Put away from um, going out today. Whilst Pete's quickly having her lunch, I'll just show you what we picked up. So from the library, I picked up, gosh, sorry, I'm really far away. Um, I, I used to film like this. Does anyone remember when I used to sit in my bedroom and film? Oh, my bag's so bad and look at my baby hair, one and a half years postpartum. Um, so I picked up When We Collide by Emery Lord. I don't know if this one is a part of the Zoella book club, but I know an Emery Lord book is um but this sounded really good so it says 17 year old jonah has lived in california his whole life and the only and only one thing has changed his father he used to be alive and now he's not really from tragedy jonah must take care of his family enter vivi alexander new girl in town vivi is in love with life a gorgeous unfiltered hurricane of thoughts and feelings she transforms jonah's family and changes his life but there are always consequences when world collides so that sounds really good um i don't know whether i don't know when i'm gonna get around to reading this but i really want to pick that up and i love the cover i think it's really cool so i picked that up I didn't get any books for P this time, but I did pick up, I wanted to get a cookbook for children, just so I can have a little bit of inspiration, because I'm really struggling with all meals, if I'm being completely honest, trying to think of something different. I am very fussy, so I always eat the same thing, so I'm always giving P the same thing, and I feel like I'm holding her back a little bit. I went to, I've made a new friend, and I went to her house um, last week, and she made like loads of like these ramekins of like mini fish pies and i just thought what a good idea like i need to start doing stuff for peas so i don't eat tuna so maybe i should start giving pea tuna and pasta thought makes me want to be sick but um so i picked up the usborne's healthy food for young children so it does sort of ramble on about what not to eat and stuff like that but it's got like loads of recipes i love this book it's so pretty so it's got like breakfast muffins and stuff, mini berry muffins, it's got stuff when it comes to like fish and then I don't eat fish, I don't like it, um, making bread, I'm not going to do all of that but it's just got like little bits of inspiration so you've got mini pizzas, again P doesn't really eat melted cheese so it's very hard but I want to just try something new so I'm going to go through this, take pictures of things that I would like um, to make recipes of. I've got this for three weeks before I have to renew it, so I can renew it anyway online. So I've got that. Then, um, when I popped to Tesco's, I, there's a charity shop next door. I've been in it before and it was rubbish. 
Um, but I thought, well, I'm here, so I may as well give it a go. And I found this. I have been wanting to get this from the library for a really long time. I don't know why I never have it. It was actually in there today. Um, but this was only 99p, I think, on Amazon. It's like... I don't even know if it's like £5 or £3. Anyway, 99p. It's like pretty good condition. Like the spine's not bent, which is something that I'm really funny about. Um, the first page is quite bad. I don't know if you can see it. It's like been stuck with something. But I can just cut that out. That's fine. Um, really good condition. No pen marks, no names, nothing. So I got that for 99p. Um, and it's one of the Zoella book clubs from a couple of years ago. So I really want to read that just dropped it on the floor and then the other thing which you're all going to think I'm mental about because I'm going to put it away not for Christmas or anything just until P is older maybe five um and this is an Orchard Toys um game Tell the Time Lotto um I love Orchard Toys we've got loads of them put away for like birthdays Christmas and stuff for the years to come this has got a Gerald's Gerald's is like um a what is Gerald's a what are they called? What is Gerald's? It's like, um, it's like Debenhams. I, I can't, like, I've literally just had a brain fart. I can't think of what Gerald's is. Department. It's a department store. Um, and this retails at Gerald's at 7.25. And I got it for 99p. Um, so why not get it? Um, this is really cute. I really like it. Um, I believe all the pieces are in here. I haven't actually checked, but for 99p it doesn't really matter. So you've got boards like this, and then you have the little placemats. So there it says 7.30 party time, and then you find it on the board, and you match it up. I just think it's a really good concept. I know that I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with this. Um, so you've got four boards, so it's up to four people just really like it absolutely love charity shops now i don't know why i never used to go in them i never really had a reason to but you can get some little gems in there so i'm very pleased with that um it's 10 past 12 i am gonna do a quick speed clean oh the crap that i've got everywhere and then p will have a nap i can have my lunch might read my book probably need to sort my hair out if i'm being honest but not going out anymore And we spontaneously decided to change P's room around. I can't remember why, but I was sat on the sofa speaking to Neil and he was like, should we just do it? So I'll quickly show you what we've done. I did put a picture on Instagram. So when you walk in, this is what we've done. Now, I don't know if you remember, P's cot used to be on this side. That used to be there. That used to be flat. Wardrobe's always been there. And then we've just moved the bookshelf from there to there. You can see like some marks where P's been playing. Um... I just feel like we've got so much more space now. Um, so obviously the wardrobe will always stay there because there's nowhere else I can really have it. Um, and then we've put this upright and she's still got like all of her toys and stuff in there. Um, but if I'm being honest, she doesn't really... What have I done to that? There you go. Um, but if I'm being honest, she doesn't really play with her toys in there. Um, and then she's got her bed. Someone on Instagram said that they'd be worried like with the shelf being above the cot. But... It's been up there a year and a half, it's never come down, there's nothing heavy on it at all, so, um, apart from obviously the shelf itself, so I'm not really too worried about that. That's all the same, I do need to get Neil to now fix this to the wall, now that she's on this side, but she can't reach it, so that's not a huge worry at the moment. And then we've got her drawers here, I've got like Christmas presents and stuff, stuff down there and down there as well. Um, and then obviously her drawers are the same and then we've just moved her bookcase but it's just given her so much more room to play 
and when she eventually gets her toy kitchen that can go there which I really like and then she's got a potty because she did actually do a poo on the potty the other day uh, where would you like to go? you want to go no night? <laughs> just hit your head okay hang on then okay Right. Love you. Have a nice nap, okay? For my lunch, I am just having a bowl of oxtail soup. This is a cup of soup, but I put it in a bowl. I've got some sweet chilli thins. I'll probably only have two of those. I've got some squash. I'm obviously having a tea. And I'm going to have a sweet treat with my tea. I'm not too sure yet what it'll be. But I'm going to eat this. And then I'm also watching some Sunbeams Jess. Vlogmas 2013. So the time is now 20 past three and I have been sat reading my book. Um, this is the book club pick of the month. Sounds really weird saying that. So I have been reading my book. Look, the book club actually started yesterday and I've only got that much left. Uh, I just read so quick. I feel really bad for like the people that are in the book club because I'm probably going to finish it tonight or tomorrow and we've dedicated the whole month to it. Um, it's just what happens but there isn't that many of us. I think there's four of us in total, so it's not a huge amount, but I really like it. It's nice to like speak to people that like to read. Um, so I have just been sat reading that. Neil just called the house phone, which then woke P up. So what else have I got to say? I'm doing chili con carne for dinner tonight, so that'll be really nice. I've got a batch in the freezer, so I literally just need to get out and defrost it and just cook some rice and some broccoli. So that'll be nice and pee. I'll, I'll say she absolutely loves it because she smashed it last time she ate it. But I guarantee you this time she won't eat it. I've also just had a text from my friend. I'm supposed to be meeting up with my friend and her little boy tomorrow. Um, and she's had to cancel because she's got to go into work. Which is really frustrating. I get that she has to work and stuff obviously. But I haven't seen anyone this week and I've been so alone. It's been horrible obviously i don't think i've mentioned um i've had quite a lot going on this week um mentally as well as i not physically because i'm okay but basically my mum got rushed to hospital um on friday um because of her smoking i've mentioned it before in my vlogs um but if you don't know she's got copd which is chronic something 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 to do with her lungs and when she smokes it makes it bad and blah 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 she ended up going to hospital for bronchitis and she was in there for five days um so that's been on my mind so i had to go pick her up. i thought i was going to pick her up monday and i didn't i had to go and pick her up on tuesday so i kept those two days free and obviously today's wednesday <sighs> so i actually haven't seen anyone this week it's been really lonely and really hard like just not having someone to speak to in the day um, it's like the, new the newborn days again, but newborn days are easier, I think, because they don't really do a lot and you can actually just feed them and then they're fine when they're like in their Moses basket or their bouncing and stuff. But now piece of toddler, I feel guilty not doing anything. Um, so I have really struggled this week, if I'm being honest, and it, she is developing a personality now and it's, it's lovely to see, but God, it is testing. It's been a bit of a hard week, as you can imagine. It's not nice. I don't know, I find it really difficult with my mum because Uncle Damien, my uncle that's got terminal cancer, he has got, actually he's got brain, liver, he had kidney, and he's got it in his lungs. And it just really, I don't know, it offends me, and I can't imagine how he feels that my mum is smoking and putting all of that awful stuff into her lungs when he's dying from lung cancer. I just don't, I don't agree with it. It doesn't sit right with me. Um, so yeah, not fun. 
turned into a little bit of a deep chat <laughs> all of a sudden so i do apologize about that but i don't have anyone to talk to so i have talked to my camera My boobs for pillows. At least there's one good purpose for them. Ready? Oh, this is a really unattractive angle. Look at the double chin. Let's just put my chin up like that. Hmm? Now you can see my stomach as well. All the delights. <laughs> Your hair. Look at this. I'm debating about getting her hair cut. I don't want to. Oh dear. Um, but just these bits. They're just so straggly. But then, oh, <laughs> if I don't, if I get her hair cut, then I can't put it up. I took her knickers off, by the way. She doesn't normally just walk around in a nappy. Yeah. No, that's that's bedtime. Can you see the sandwiches? Yeah. That's right. Clever girl. Yeah. Dog. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Up you get. And Mama push you down again. She's discovered her stickers. Don't know if you can see, but I've got them all over my feet. I've got them on my knees. Yeah, yeah that's right. The stickers. <laughs> Are they good? Yeah. Bath is being run. Not a big one this time. I'm also defrosting dinner in the microwave. I just need to put on a pan of water for some rice. Hello, sugar. Oh, she's got a sticker stuck to her bum. What am I doing? Oh, pretty. <laughs> it really suits you well. It's like you're lost in your fur. <laughs> This is Pea's dinner. She has got um, chili, rice, and broccoli, but it's basically chili but without the spice. Um, I just took like a batch out for her before I added spice, and then that is mine. So this is how much is left of Pea's dinner. Um, she did well. Normally she finishes it, but she wanted to get down. Do you want that? Good girl. Um, so I've let her get down just so I can eat my dinner in peace because if not she was just complaining. I was washing up Neil and P made some little letters. That's got a little stamp of approval. Right. This is just a, gen a letter. generic letter. P's cuddler me. Yep. These are just some rubbish. Yeah, they're good ones. Yeah. This one wasn't so that, great. Was that your first one? Yeah, this is a postcard. Nice. Where did they go on their well, holidays? Just a bit sun. They go on their jollies. Yeah, and then this is a birthday card. One. <laughs> but it's smudged. <laughs> and then post it. Ah, oh, my hands might be a bit grubby though. That's right. On the holly bobs. Off you go. Yay! Oh, I dropped it. I should put it in this one as well. Yeah, hang on. Just put these ones that way around. Okay. Be a bit careful, so you overshoot and don't get it in the basket. <laughs> Shit, we're oh. playing with this all night. <gasps> ring, ring! Oh. 
Buns. <laughs> buns. Buns, buns. Okay. You lost a lot. Love you, Baba. See you in the morning, okay? Yeah? We go and look at the ducks tomorrow, okay? The ducks and the swans? Yeah? Love you. So it's now half past six, and I am about to get started on some orders. I have got. Look at right. my hua. I know, you. it's like a Derrily triangle. Look at this. It's a moon. It's a moon. <laughs> What's your name? No. <laughs> no wonder why you don't want to do videos. It's because you're an idiot like that. Um, don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, I need to make some clips and some orders. So I need to go on my Etsy and sort all that out. Probably do that for about an hour and a half whilst watching telly with Neil, have a brew, and then I would like to read my book at some point. I want to finish that. Okay, so it's just gone eight o'clock. Um, my clips took longer than I thought. We watched um, a, that's an order there by the way. Um, we watched the last episode of a series called In the Dark, something like that. It's really good. Um, so I am now about to sit down and finish reading my book. Neil didn't go out in the end, he is in the bath. So just had some cherry tomatoes with some salt and I'm now going to have my last two um, McVitie's digestive with chocolate orange chocolate on the top with a decaf tea. Hi everyone, so it's now 5 to 10. Um, I've got my retainer in so I sound a bit funny um, but I'm now going to finish off my book so I'm going to end off the vlog here. We just watched um, what was it called? Uh, four year olds, four -year -olds in a nursing, is it, they called nursing homes. Um, in, home. in a retirement home. It was so good, really sweet. Um, so we watched that, but now I'm just gonna chill out, read my book, finish that, and then go to sleep. So I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.